either side. If it was, it could indicate a cargo shift, flat tire, or a suspension problem. There's no puddles, hanging wires, or hoses underneath the truck. I'll go to my cab lights. They're clean, secured, proper color, and working. I'll come down to my headlights, high and low beam, four-way flashers, marker lights, and left and right turn signals are all clean, secured, proper color, and working. Okay, now I'll come over here to my coolant. I'll tell you what, let me stand here, that way you can shine in and see the parts in when we get down here. My coolant hose is secured, not damaged, not leaking, and it has the metal clamps present and tight. The alternator is secured, not damaged. The alternator is belt driven. The belt to it is secured, not damaged. It has no more than three quarters of an inch of play when I push on it. The alternator wires are secured and not damaged. Now we'll go to the water pump underneath it. Water pump is secured, not damaged, not leaking. It's also belt driven by the same serpentine belt. I'm not going to do the belt again. Shock absorber is secured, not damaged, not leaking. That's this piece. The U-bolts are secured, not damaged. The nuts on the bottom are present and tight. Leaf spring is secured, not damaged, not shifted out of place. Spring mount is secured, not damaged. That's four pieces to the suspension. Now we go with the airline. It's secured, not damaged, not leaking. Brake chamber is secured, not damaged, not leaking. Now the brake chamber comes the push rod. It's secured, not damaged, not bent. It's properly connected to the slack adjuster. The slack adjuster is secured, not damaged, and with the brakes release has no more than one inch of free play when I pull on it. Inside are my brake shoes. The brake shoes are secured, not damaged. The pads have at least a quarter of an inch of thickness on them. They're free of oil and grease. The brake drum is secured, not damaged, and it's also free of oil and grease. The inner and outer sidewalls to my tire is secured and not damaged. No bulges, cuts, or abrasions. The tread is worn evenly at at least 430 seconds. There's no damage done to the tread. Inside is 100 pounds of air. I will check that with an air pressure gauge through my metal valve stem with a metal cap, which is secured, not damaged, and like I said, and not leaking. Not leaking is what I was trying to think of. The rim, secured, not damaged, no illegal welds. The lug nuts are secured, not damaged, no shiny threads, no rust trails coming off of them, which could indicate a loose lug nut. Hub seal is secured, not damaged, not leaking, and it's up to the proper amount of fluid level. You just stick your finger in, if you touch oil, you're good to go. Okay, let's go to the other side. Stand back here and you stand up front and then you can get coach. Coolant reservoir is secured, not damaged, not leaking, up to proper fluid level. The cap is present and tight. Power steering fluid reservoir is secured, not damaged, not leaking, up to proper fluid level. The cap is secured and tight. The coolant, yeah, yeah, coolant. Power steering hoses are secured, not damaged, not leaking. I'll slow down. The power steering pump, which is this piece here, it's secured, not damaged, it's not leaking, and it's gear driven. The air compressor is secured, not damaged, not leaking air, and it's gear driven. The oil fill cap is secured, not damaged, not leaking. The uh, dipstick is secured, not damaged, not leaking, and when I check it, it's up to proper fluid level. The steering shaft is secured, not damaged, not bent. There's no more than 10 degrees of play in it. The U-joint is secured and not damaged, and it has no free play in it. The steering box is secured, not damaged, not leaking. The pitman arm, drag link, and steering knuckle are all secured, not damaged, not bent, and everything is secured with castle nuts and cotter pins. I'll inspect the rest of this axle the same as I did the other side. My marker signal light, this is a four-way flasher. It's a left turn signal, and it's a marker light. It's clean, secured, proper color, and working. The mirror bracket is secured and not damaged. I'll do the glass from the inside. The door is secured and not damaged. It opens and closes properly. And the hinges are supposed to be tight. But just inspect it like it's brand new. Inside is my door seal. The door seal is secured and not damaged. Pull this little black lever and then opens the dog box. Down to my fuel tank. My fuel tank is secured, not damaged, not leaking fuel. It has two metal straps with a rubber gasket between the strap and the tank to prevent metal-to-metal -metal contact. 
The cap is secured, not damaged, not leaking. Steps are secured, not damaged, free of debris. If you read the book and it talks about the fuel lines, they're not the fuel lines. Everybody's, that's a mistake. I don't know how that got to the book. And here are my three DOT approved triangles. They're six spare fuses, either in here or inside the door panel or glove box. And here I have a 10 BC fire extinguisher, fully charged and secured to the floor. The 10 means it's a 10 pound. It must be at least a 10 pound. You couldn't use a 5 BC. And the BC means a type of material in it to put out an oil fire or a tire fire. Uh, a type A is water. That don't work. That's for kitchen trash. Okay, exhaust system is secured, not damaged, not leaking, no signs of black soot. Come down to my air hose and electric line hanger. It's holding all my lines at least two inches up off the catwalk. My electric line is secured and not damaged, no bare frayed wires. Both emergency and service air lines are secured, not damaged, not leaking. Now the connections to the truck are secured, not damaged, not leaking. The air connections and the electrical connection is secured not damaged and has the locking cap so it don't pull out when you're driving down the road. Now, I like to automatically come back and finish it out. The glad hands there it's on right. The glad hands are secured not damaged not leaking. They have the rubber grommets in which are not damaged and not leaking. This one is that one will leak. So I have new ones to put in. Get to it yet. The electric line to the trailer is secured, not damaged, and also has a locking cap, so it won't pull out. My frame is the, the frame and cross member. That's the pieces running across. It, they are secured, not damaged, not bent, no illegal welds, no illegal drilled holes, and all bolts are present and tight. Catwalk, secured, not damaged, free of debris. The dry shaft is secured, not damaged, not bent. The dry shaft has U-joints and then the U-joints are secured not damaged and they have no free play in them and they're lubed properly. Now we're here to the back. Actually if you guys stand up here you'll be able to see this better. We're back to this axle. So here I'm going to do the same four pieces that I've done up front. The first thing I'll do is the spring mount. That's this one here. Secured not damaged. Then the leaf spring which is secured not damaged not shifted out of place. Back there are my U-bolts. Secured not damaged. The nuts on the bottom are present tight. And between the frame and tire is my shock absorber, which is secured, not damaged, not leaking. But you have to add two things. You've got to add the torsion bar, which is in there. It's the bar running from the differential over to the frame. It's secured, not damaged, and not bent. And you have to add this airbag. The airbag is secured, not damaged, not leaking air, and it's inflated to the proper level. And then you got to do the mounts. The upper and lower mounts are secured and not damaged. Now we'll go to the brakes. And all what you can see is just the brake chambers. See it in there? Yeah. But remember what you've done up there. There's six pieces to the brake. Remind me to get you guys some other papers today here. It, I'll, show, I'll explain this to you then. There's an airline going to that brake chamber. I can see it there barely, but the airline is secured, not damaged. It's not leaking. The brake chamber itself is secured, not damaged, and not leaking. Underneath is my push rod and slack adjuster. The push rod is secured, not damaged, not bent, properly connected to the slack adjuster, and the slack adjuster is secured, not damaged, with the brakes release, has no more than one inch of free play when I pull on it. Inside the wheel is my brake shoes. The brake shoes are secured, not damaged. The pads are secured, not damaged. They have at least a quarter of an inch of tread on them. Yeah, quarter of an inch of thickness on them, yep. And they're free of oil and grease and the brake drum that's what they go against to slow you down the brake drum is secured not damaged also free of oil and grease <clears throat> all four side walls of the tires there's two tires here the doles so all four side walls are secured not damaged no bulges cuts or abrasions the tread on each tire is worn evenly at at least 230 seconds these can be recapped i didn't say it up there because i don't need it for the test but they have to be virgin radials they can't be recaps uh, there's a hundred pounds of air in each tire and I will check that with an air pressure gauge there's a valve stem here for the outside one and there's one in there for the inside one both valve stems are secured not damaged not leaking they're both made of metal and they both have metal caps on them my rims my rims are secured not damaged no illegal welds 
The two rims are bolted tight together. There's no space between them. Uh, the lug nuts. The lug nuts are all secure, not damaged. Again, no shiny threads and no rust trails. The axle seal, secured, not damaged, not leaking. You can't check the level in it. That's got to be done underneath the truck. Okay. Now we'll go to the 50 wheel. Right here. There's nine parts to this 50 wheel. The apron is secured, not damaged. There's no gap between the apron and that plate there. It's called the fifth wheel skid plate. So there's no gap. There's no high hook here. If, if you see a space between there, don't pull out. Rehook. The fifth wheel skid plate that it's sitting on is secured, not damaged. And it's uh, got the proper amount of lube on it. You got to keep that greased up because it grinds on the apron all day long driving. And drop down to the platform. That's that A-frame shaped piece there that it's sitting on. It is secured and not damaged. Then the locking pin, it's in the holes here. You see the holes there? There's one sticking through there. That's the locking pin. It's secured, not damaged. It's in the locked position. And above it is the release handle, which is secured, not damaged, and it's in the locked position. Then I'll, then I'll do the mount. The mount is secured, not damaged. All bolts are present and tight. That handle being the whole way in, I will come back and look up, and that'll ta that tells me that my locking jaw is engaged the whole way around the kingpin and the locking jaw is secured and not damaged the kingpin is also secured not damaged and not bent i'll inspect this axle the same as i did that axle now we're back to the mud flaps the mud flaps are secured not damaged they're at least two inches up off the ground and the mud flap has the uh dot tape on it it has to be on the back of the tractor and has to be on the back of the trailer my lights, same light that's on the back of your car. I don't care about a license plate light, if there is one, uh, and I don't care about the back or the uh, backup light. I care about brake lights, left and right turn signals, four-way flashers, and marker lights. They are all clean, secured, proper color, and working. That's the whole tractor. Then we'll go to the nose of the trailer and go clear to the top. Up on top of the trailer, there's clearance lights. They're called clearance when they're up on top. They are clean, secured, proper color, and working. The nose of the trailer, which is called the bulkhead, it's secured, not damaged, no bulge in it. If you see a bulge in it after you hit the brakes or you just see that it's bulged out, I'd get inside and make sure my cargo didn't come loose and it's leaning against the front of the trailer. DOT tape has to be from the front of the trailer clear to the back. It's got to cover at least 50% and they, it can't be more than 24 inches apart. My landing gear, the mount is secured and not damaged. The handle is secured, not damaged. It's in the stowed position for travel. The legs are secured, not damaged, not bent. The feet are secured, not damaged, free of debris. Both feet move up and down evenly when I crank it. And, uh, they're raised the whole way up for travel. You don't want them just a few inches off the ground and go over a railroad track or something. Tear them off a little. I know because I've done it already. Too lazy to crank them the whole way up. Marker signal light. Again, it's a four-way flasher, it's a left turn signal, and it's a marker light. Clean, secure, proper color, and work. Back here. We'll do our sliding tandems first. The frame, the sliding tandem frame, that's the piece that actually slides back and forth, secured and not damaged. The piece with the hole in it is called the mount. It's secured to the trailer. It's welded fast. It's secured, not damaged. This is the release handle, just like the fifth wheel. When you pull on this, these pins will pop in and you can slide back and forth. The handle is secured, not damaged. It's in the lock position and the pins, the locking pins are secured, not damaged and they're they are in the lock position. There's two on this side, two on the other side. After you slide your tandem, you always want to walk the whole way around the trailer and make sure they're all four locked in. Now I'll go to my suspension. There's only three pieces to the suspension on all these trailers that we have here. Spring mount, which is secured, not damaged. Leaf spring, which is secured, not damaged. And U-bolts, which are, oh, the leaf spring's not shifted. Two, secured, not damaged, not shifted, out of place. The U-bolts are secure, not damaged, and the nuts on the bottom are present and tight. Now we'll do the six pieces to the brake, just like we've done twice there. 
The airline going to the brake chamber is secured, not damaged, not leaking. Brake chamber is secured, not damaged, not leaking. Out of the brake chamber comes the push rod. It's secured, not damaged, not bent. It's properly connected to the slack adjuster. The slack adjuster is secured, not damaged. With the brakes release, it has no more than one inch of free play. Inside are my brake shoes, which are secured, not damaged. They're free of oil and grease. The pads have at least a quarter of an inch of thickness on them yet. And the brake drum, secured, not damaged, free of oil and grease. Now we'll move to our tires. Again, we got dual tires, so all four sidewalls are secured, not damaged. No bulges, cuts, or abrasions. The tread, these can be recapped. The tread is worn evenly on both tires at at least 230 seconds, and they're secured and not damaged. There's 100 pounds of air in each tire. I'll check that with an air pressure gauge. There's two metal valve stems. There's one down here. There's one up there and one right here. Both valve stems are secured, not damaged, not leaking. They're made of metal and they have metal caps. The lug nuts are all secured, not damaged, no shiny threads or rust trails. And the hub seal, you can actually see the level in it. It's got an add line to it. Uh, it is secured, not damaged, not leaking, and it's up to proper fluid level. I will inspect this axle the same as I did that axle. My mud flap is secured, not damaged, at least two inches up off the ground. This is just a marker light. A trailer that has an amber light back here will be an a ABS. None of our trailers have that. The marker light is clean, secured, proper color are working. Up on top are my clearance lights, which are clean, secured, proper color are working. My trailer door is secured, not damaged. It's not bulged, which could indicate a cargo shift. It's latched properly. Handles in the locked position for travel. DOT tape is sold the whole way across the back of the trailer. It must be. ICC bumper is secured and not damaged. And my lights, same light that's on the back of the tractor, same light that's on the back of your car. Brake lights, left right turn signal, four way flashers, and marker lights are all clean, secured, proper color and working. I'll inspect that side of the truck the same as I did this side. That's all you need to do right there.